Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since like I uh, did a video. Uh, I think I just didn't get as motivated as I wanted to be since the last couple of videos. But I want to give a quick overall review on the KSI album. I did say I was going to listen to it and I did say I was going to give my initial opinion. I listened to the album yesterday when I was going for a walk. Um... And I was surprised. I like KSI and I like a few of his songs. I think a lot of his songs have gotten better over the years. Um, you know, like uh, Really Love with Amory. Uh, I liked the um, the Tion Wayne song he did last year. And I can't remember who else he did it with. If I can quickly have a look here. Um... I got I got his songs up in here. Uh, oh, it's it was was swarms as well for Houdini. I like a lot of his songs, like his recent ones, and I his last album was okay. Uh, there was a few songs from there that was like pretty good, but this album I, I wasn't expecting like the highest. Uh, I, I was I didn't have my my highest expectations. Because, you know, a lot of his songs, apart from the recent one, which was Holiday, you know, has been features. So I was like, okay, well, let's see how he does for solo songs. And I listened to the album, and it was really good. Like, it was, it was really good. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly remove my face and go to the screen here. And as we can see, uh, he had about... 16 songs in an album, which is fairly decent for one. Uh, it was almost an hour long. And we'll, we'll just go through, like, I'll give you, like, a quick overall opinion on each song. So the first song, uh, The Moment, which in his Lad Bible uh, self-talk, he said this is probably his favourite song or most excited song. Uh, I can see why it's a really good song. It's very catchy. I think a few of the songs on here... Are like radio material so they would like get played quite a bit um the moment it's a it's you know it's a pretty catchy song i like i like you know a lot i think a lot of the songs on these uh the choruses are very catchy itself but for what it is it's like an opening song very good uh the future 21 savage which i assume future was the surprise like big um feature because he said the person who he got ended with an E and I'm looking at all these other features and the only people ending with an E is Bugsy Malone, uh, Rico Love and that's it I think. Like Bugsy Malone's big but like his audience is worldwide so not a lot of people won't know who Bugsy Malone is. Uh, I don't know who Rico Love is. Um, but yeah, so Future I seen was the big one. So this song also pretty good. It's not my favorite on the album. Um, I'm not a big Twenty One Savage like lover, anyways. But he did alright on the song. I think he performed the best in my opinion. Uh, you know, Future's part was pretty alright too. And KSI obviously came in for the chorus. The song was pretty decent. Uh, you know, I've already heard from Patience and Really Love and uh, Don't Play. So I won't really put my opinions on these because these are songs he's already made. You, from what I can remember, um, I'm not going to play them just in case, like, this video gets copyright striked. I don't really want it to. Or it gets taken down due to some... So something to do with copyright. Um, from what I remember for you, uh... This was okay. I I I don't I didn't mind the song. Um, like some songs stood up more to others, and I'll I'll say which ones now. Um, but this song you was okay. Like, I don't think it was anything special to to me in my opinion. But yeah, it was decent. I I, I prefer the moment over you. Um, gang gang. I actually really like this song. I'm not a big Dino fan, but I think the vocals he really put on here was was really good. And J One's flow on this song was also pretty impressive uh ksi 
you know, I, I don't think he did the best in this song, but that is okay. Because, I mean, he's competing with huge, like, names. So, you don't expect him to do the best in some of these songs. But, of overall, like, Gang Gang, I could see it being a radio song. It's very catchy. It's got a good beat to it. So, yeah, overall, I think this song is probably the top three. Um, Rent Free. I, it's, it's a good song. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my type of thing like it's not it's not my type of thing for a song and that's nothing against Gracie or KSI in or the or the beat for this song I, I just personally didn't like it that much um but yeah I don't, like in all honesty I don't think there's a bad song on this album but if I had to rank in like least favorite I think this would be my least favorite just because I don't know I was just like eh, it's okay I think it's got, oh no, it hasn't got like the least amount of views for, or plays wise. Um, Madness, I really like this one. I really like it. I don't know if it's the, like the chorus is really good, but Madness, I do like. Yeah, I think this, this is definitely one of Casey's best songs ever. Madness is, is very good. Um, Sell You a Bugsy Malone, also another great song. I do like Bugsy Malone, so. I don't know if that's why it's just going to be ranking up high for this one, but just very good in general. Um, the start was like a little slowish, but like it picked up coming to the main chorus. But yeah, I, I think the song is pretty good. Flash It, I've never heard a Rico Love before, but I did like the song. You know, first time listening to Rico Love, I guess I have to put an opinion on um, him. I think it's a, a guy... Um, he's got some great vocals. Like he really has got some great vocals. It it reminds me of like a. I don't know. Just it reminds me. It it, it you would see that song, in not a Disney film, but like a family friendly film, like at the end for some end credits. Nice song. Uh, actually speaking of yeah, like I guess family friendly i went to uh, a crazy golf place and they were playing k size what were they playing i can't remember what... they might even playing patience i think so but yeah shout out to k size making moves around the place uh no time featuring little dirk my oh my k size vocals for these ones were nuts this is the leak that i think we heard online but his vocals for this was really impressive I like little little Dirk too. He's 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 a, he's a decent artist in my opinion. So you know, nothing bad to say about this song. Um, would I put it at my top? Um, probably not. No, like my top one. Well, I'll get to it in the end. But yeah, th this was th this was all right. Uh, no pressure. Um, I'm trying to think which one no pressure was. Uh, I can't think of anything at the top of my head, and I don't want to play it just in case of copyright reasons. But you know, I'm, there's nothing that's bad coming to my head for any of these songs. So for me, I'm just gonna say it was a decent song. If it's not memorable, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means that there's other songs that are memorable. Um, and then the final one that hasn't that, that was like newly released was "Sleeping with the Enemy." Uh, KSI opened this song with like a, felt like a, like a TED talk kind of speech, but in like, uh, I don't, I'm trying to think of an artist who does this a lot. I guess the only person who, who kind of speaks like this would be NF. If you listen to some of NF songs, he does open up with like a, like a, like he kind of, KSI went, he started off like, my mama said that I can't drop out of school. She's got to understand I'm a person too. It was just more of, not of a rap, but just in a speaking tone. And SX, his vocals are insane. His vocals are really impressive. Um, we saw this with uh, Down Like That, but decent song as well. Honestly though, my favourite song 
is probably either going to be it, it's a, it's a tie between the moment and and no time i also really like flash it with uh rico love and bugsy and i mean i don't mind number two it's a, it's a decent song but yeah so uh, overall sorry if i'm like kind of dragging this on it's just i'm trying to think through the songs that was played um but overall this album is really impressive way better than this last one so that's a step up i'm sure he's he's gassed that you know this one's doing way better than last time so yeah, and overall, I think this album is like a solid, a solid, uh, solid eight point five out of ten. Now the reason why I'm not giving it a ten is I would like to see more solo songs for KSI. He has how many does he have on his own? He has, let's see, he has one, two, three. He has five, which is not bad for a 16 song album. Um, and a lot of, like a few of the songs are old songs, but I would like to see more solo songs. And he can do well with solo songs. Holiday, um, Madness, you know, The Moment, they they are like actually good songs. So he can do well with his voice. And, you know... I don't want to, like, I feel like I have to be criticism, like, give criticism because it is an album. But I, f I feel like a few of the songs, for the chorus-wise, were repetitive. I can't distinctively point out which ones because, I mean, I've only listened to the album once. And I'm, I'm going to have to go over it again. But I, I feel like a few of the songs were repetitive in the sense of the album, like, like, the chorus. And I know a couple of genres are the same, like, um... Like madness and and silly are like kind of like grime songs, so you'd expect that for grime songs. But I thought I had to double check: am I listening to the same song or a different one? But don't take credit away that this this album is very good. Like from every song, every album that was released yesterday, um, like the pop smoke one, like holy, that was not good at all. Um, they should have just not released that one. I have not listened to the Will album. I don't know if I am. I'm not really. I don't listen to Will. So. But yeah. Shout out to KSI for this. I think this album will do really well. And I'm expecting a few of these songs on the charts. Um, but yeah. This is a quick review. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.